Wow, well here I am, I just got off the stage and I've got to say in one sense I'm glad that it's over but in the other I wish I had just a little bit more time. You know I'm a woman, we've always got more words and especially Greek women, we can kind of fit more words in than anyone else. I was just kind of thinking, you know, after all that I got to share and um, you might just have to put it on slow to listen to it because I know I speak very, very fast. I was just kind of thinking, how is it? And I know people are like, well Christine, here you are, 43, a couple of kids and how have you stayed passionate for over two decades? And I guess, you know, what it really Really comes down to for me is um, the simplicity of a daily relationship with Jesus Christ. I think if you just keep it simple, I think so often people try to complicate their Christianity. I always say, I feel a little bit like the blind man where, you know, all the religious people are trying to say, well, you know, how did you get healed? And let's look at the theology behind it. And, the, and I'm just like, you know what? I was once blind and now I see. And I think it was that simple that I haven't forgotten where I've come from. I know what it was like to live without hope. I know what it was like to kind of wake up and think there is nothing ahead. And then I know what it was like when I encountered a living, radical relationship with Jesus Christ. And I guess that, and you know, the Bible says, stir up that gift of faith on the inside of you. And I think every day, if I just get up, I stir up that gift of faith. I'm in the word. And I think you've got to keep short accounts with people. The truth is inevitably people will disappoint you. You will get discouraged. And people are like, Chris, do you ever get disillusioned or disappointed? You know, just ask my husband. Of course I do. But you've just got to learn to keep very short accounts to deal with things very very quickly. You know, I lived a lot of years full of unforgiveness, full of bitterness, full of pain and shame and hurt and guilt. And you know, all that does is clog you up on the inside and causes you to lose hope and to become cynical. And cynicism just cripples you and immobilizes you. This sense of resignation and this lack of hope, all it does is it thwarts all that you could be and all that you could do. And so I just think, you know what, keep your faith simple. The simplicity of a love relationship with Jesus Christ, never lose your all, never lose your wonder. Never lose that sense that God is here. Find it in the small everyday things and then you'll see God turn up for the big things. You know, it's not that hard for me to believe that God can make such a big difference when it comes to human trafficking and we can help to abolish this injustice on the earth. When I see that same God working in my daughters and I see their joy and their laughter and I think, you know what, God intends that for every child. Children were not created by God to be trafficked around the world and sold into sex slavery. So if my daughters can find this joy in Christ, I just keep it that same Simple, then I want to take that to a whole lot of other kids and a whole lot of other people. And don't, don't let yourself become overwhelmed by what's going on around you. You and I are internally regulated by the Spirit of God. We're not externally motivated by what's going on around us. We need to learn to stir it up on the inside and change the atmosphere around us by the power of the God that's on the inside of us. So anyway, I know we've got loads of great more things coming up at the summit. I can't wait to hear all of the other speakers. have loved being with you. Have a great day.